to another video. It is Friday night. I'm continuing this video right after my last video just ended, my last vlog, which was my first week back to work after maternity leave. So it is the first Friday night after I started working and we are gonna decorate for fall. We're gonna do a little bit of Halloween, but not a lot of like the spooky stuff. We're gonna hold off on that till it's a little closer. It's only September still. But yeah, I'm very excited because I'm gonna have some wine tonight. And actually, a little story about this wine, which this is the first time I'm drinking wine just like casually at home since having the baby. And honestly, since moving in here because we moved in here and I was already pregnant. So anyway, I got a bunch of wine as a gift for my friends Lucy and Sydney for my bridal shower. Okay, so like a year and a half ago. And they all had these cute tags on them that said like, you know, first day back to work after the wedding, first, you know, big purchase. Like it was supposed to drink these bottles of wine after like every big thing. Well, I got pregnant on my honeymoon. So my first day back to work, I didn't know I was pregnant yet, but I was like, I had a really bad cold. And then as soon as I got over that cold, I found out I was pregnant. So I couldn't drink this bottle, but it's my first day. Well, it's not my first day back to work since having a baby, but it is my first week. So now all of these wine bottles are gonna be first whatever after, instead of the wedding, it's gonna be after the baby. I'm very excited to drink some of this wine. I just fed the baby. She should be good until she goes to bed. Like, I don't normally feed her again, but I still pumped a bottle last night just in case she randomly gets hungry an additional time. She usually doesn't. She's probably gonna be fine, but we have it just in case, and we have a freezer stash just in case, even though I don't even think she's gonna eat again tonight, but I'm gonna pop open this wine once our sushi gets here, because we also ordered sushi takeout. I have to put a lot of this stuff in the wash, so I'm gonna run down and do that, and then we're gonna get to decorating, and then before we know it, sushi will be here, and I'm starving, so I'm very excited for that. And then once the baby goes down, we're gonna watch a movie, and I don't know, we'll see what we get into, but we have a very exciting relaxing weekend planned and I'll share more of that each day. Just a little something, something for the bathroom. You can put, put it there. Put that like maybe here. Who's that pretty lady? <laughs> Where is she? <laughs> We got all the fall decorating that we could done. Honestly, we it was enough for our apartment, but it barely looks decorated in our house. I just finished washing our wine white wine glasses because we actually do have separate red wine glasses. And she was gonna go bark at the front doors. <laughs> Yay! Smells like wine. The glug glug glug. You did it. I did it. To a great mom, great wife, and love my life. And and the first week, and the first week. successful first week. Yes. Back. Now we're gonna take like three years to figure out what we want to watch. We'll be back. It, it, it's Good Will Hunting is a very fall movie, I've never seen it. and you've never seen it, and I've seen it only once. It's sad, but I'm down for it. It's kind of like the same vibe as like A Beautiful Mind. Like, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, tragic, collegiate. All right, let's, let's crack open this, uh... 
sushi. So, oh, I have to get my coconut aminos because I can't have soy sauce because if you're new here, oh, I'm a mom to a almost five month old, four month old, and she can't have dairy or soy, which and she's breastfed, which means I can't have dairy or soy because she's an intolerance. She has all kinds of colicky symptoms if she has it. Anyway, go back and watch my other videos if you don't know what I'm talking about. But I have a very limited diet, so I had to have just a plain. I had to order a plain avocado roll and a plain salmon roll, and then I can only dip it in the coconut aminos that I had because I can't do soy sauce because soy, and I can't do anything with dairy, so I can't do any like my favorite roll was Philadelphia roll. Can't have that because there's cream cheese in it. Can't do anything with the spicy mayo because. Not because there's dairy in it, but because in a lot of spicy mayos, no, in a lot of mayo, there's soybean oil, and she can't have soybean oil, so it's a whole thing, but I'm very excited. So I'm going to go get my coconut aminos. Um, I have, so there's my plain salmon roll, it's nothing but salmon and rice, and then my plain avocado roll, nothing but avocado and rice. And then these are the coconut aminos. It kind of tastes like soy sauce, but like not completely, but like it's pretty good, so. It's not too bad. It's not too bad, so. Just remembered, I have the ability to make myself a spicy mayo at home with my soy free mayo and my soy free and dairy free sriracha. Okay, we're gonna break these out. What? This product is free of the top 14 allergies. So that means I'm allowed to have it. So the Sweet Lauren's brand, I mean, I have to check every ingredient list every time, but I can have their cookies. And these are pumpkin spice. And they're gluten-free, dairy-free, allergen-free. Made in a dedicated room, free of gluten, wheat, milk, peanuts, tree nuts, and sesame. That's crazy. It smells like pumpkin spice in here. The baby woke up, and Zach has been up there for like 15 minutes. Honestly, maybe 20, trying to get her back down. I feel really bad. And we're like not even, I think we might just be about halfway done with the movie. They smell like pumpkin spice. They also they smell, smell, like, really smell like gingerbread a little bit. Yeah. They smell like apple cider. They smell like snickerdoodles. Mmm, they do. Okay. Right? Cheers. Cheers. I wish it was more of a pumpkin. This has got a nice like crunch and crisp to mm -hmm. it though. It's good. The flavor is a little subdued. Mm hmm But yeah. it, when it hits, it hits. Mm hmm And it tastes, it tastes good. It's good. The baby's stirring. We'll see. Sure Good morning! It's the next day. We've got a big girl. Look at this outfit. Look at this outfit. She's so cute. She's like a big girl in her overalls. Um, this is the first time she's wearing them and they are already like a little bit small on her. I can't believe that. Anyway, we're on our way to the diner right now. I'm very excited to eat all that. Um, but I don't know if I had, if I explained this earlier, but we are kind of redoing Mother's Day. We had to put a lot of holidays on pause because of, you know, having a newborn, but also like our financial situation because Zach was unemployed, but now he has a job. What made us excited throughout like all of that unemployment journey was like, we're gonna have like makeup holidays and it's gonna be a blast. So today's makeup holiday is Mother's Day. And um, I, so we're going to the diner and then I'm getting a massage later. So it's very exciting, I'm excited for that. And then next weekend we're doing birthday. my birthday. And then the weekend after that is Zach's birthday. So I'm, I got him a few extra gifts um, to also make up for Father's Day. And, um, but it'll also be for his birthday. So we'll go out to dinner and all of that. So making up quite a few holidays. The only holiday we haven't planned for how we're gonna make it up yet is Valentine's Day. We know we're how we're gonna do it. We just haven't like planned out when yet. Yeah. Raw girl. She's so cutie. <laughs> okay, well we made it to the diner. We're sitting outside. We're the only ones actually sitting outside. And uh, my choices are very limited, but I'm gonna have two eggs with some bacon. And I'm gonna ask if the home fries are uh, cooked on the grill, because then they can be cooked with the olive oil. Or if they have any milk in them. Hopefully not. Addy Cam. Someone was getting fussy in their stroller, but we explained the whole situation to the waitress and she was so understanding and helpful and like accommodating. So I'm getting cubed home fries cooked fresh 
with two eggs with no cheese and then bacon and gluten-free bread because usually the gluten-free also doesn't have soy or dairy we're finding yeah so just to be safe usually and it is, sorry it's completely yeah, hard, right? yeah there's my food that i can't eat right now because i'm feeding her <laughs> i'm trying to munch but it's easier for me to have two hands <laughs> We're in a store trying to get her to go to sleep. <laughs> I know we did. This is fun. I like these too. You can get another a number She's one. Love this. I know she will. Cute. Cute. Oh. Embroidery kit. Yeah, get back into it. I know I do. I have no time for hobbies outside of YouTube, and I'd rather do YouTube. Ooh. That'd be cool. It's very cool. This is I like this quilt a lot. Which speaking of for whoa, Carolina Reaper cotton candy. Maple bacon. That's really cool. I was only here for that. Someone was not happy with being in the wrap because it ended up being hotter than we expected. But we're almost to the car. Oh. All right, well, we walked around downtown Denville for a little bit. We just kind of decided to like check it out and go to a downtown. We but had the time. yeah, we had the time, and now it's 1.30. She we the goal was to have her sleep in the wrap, but then when we started walking around, we were like, oh, it's actually really hot in the direct sun, which is the whole downtown's in the direct sun. So I was sweating, so we went into a couple of stores and she stayed asleep in the stores. But like at a certain point, I think she was just getting really hot and she woke up and was like not comfortable. And then she's just been up like basically the rest of this time, so. By the time we get back, it might be like good enough for you to feed her and then we can start yeah. working her down. Yeah, well, here's the thing, hun. i I'm gonna be gone till five. 
So I want to feed her as close to me leaving as possible at like three. I will check in with you guys closer to when we're going to my massage, but I actually wanted to say there were some really cute boutiques in downtown Dunville that I wasn't expecting to see. Like there was this whole like cowboy like boot and like hat bar which is like very Nashville and they had a lot of like Tennessee knockoff merch and like cowboy stuff and I was very like confused I was like wait what like did we get on a plane to go to Nashville and I wasn't aware because <laughs> all of a sudden it like was very country and actually a couple of boutiques were very reminiscent of like Nashville boutiques not that I've gone but from what I've seen on like social media and stuff so that was kind of like took me off guard but I like that stuff so we'll come back when we have uh, money to spend and I will spend money. But today we were just window shopping and I'm glad we did that. As baby's cranky, we're gonna get home and hopefully she'll go down for another nap and I'll feed her right before I go. Let's go get this massage. It is hot. Look at the embarrassing line I have on my face. Like, look at that. <laughs> I'm getting the massage. That's so embarrassing. Anyway, they tried talk me, talking me into like the like monthly membership, which I actually used to have when I still lived at home with my mom and didn't have like real bills. And it was so nice. But um, yeah, she was really trying to talk me down to it or to do it and if I had that kind of money I would which is not in the cards but now I'm like I can't wait to come back but dude <laughs> I have the funniest story to tell so when I get back home I'll tell you guys and my husband at the same time because it, it was a mess but anyway <sighs> I'm gonna I'm gonna blast this air and we're gonna go home okay so we gotta leave to go to grandma's but where should I put this in the mail. Right so, we got a couple of Amazon packages. Oh, I wasn't supposed to see that. Let's see. These are, these are big. These are teethers. Look at these things. We got her some new teethers, she needed them. We also ordered her another little toy set but that hasn't arrived yet. I think I saw a package I wasn't supposed to see. Why would you put <laughs> my name on it? Your, our Amazon packages say you our names on that. it. You should change that. I thought it was an Amazon package because we're supposed to get two things from Amazon. You're not supposed to see that. <laughs> Sorry. If you change it on Amazon to your name. <laughs> okay, but when I looked at the thing, it said like the name on it. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go right now. I just changed into my co cozy Taylor Swift shirt. I got into the room for the massage, and all of a sudden I see that there's not a wall, other wall in the room. There's a divider, and I was like, I'm gonna finally finish my story. So I get into the room. I realize that there's only a divider in the room, and I'm like, what? And then I hear. And then I hear vibrating noises, and I'm like, that's weird. The masseuse leaves the room for me to undress. You know, if you've ever had a massage, you have to like get naked. And um, I start to hear like moaning, like full on, you know what kind of moaning. And I'm like, so I hear vibrating, I hear moaning, and I'm like, what is going on in this massage envy right now? And then I hear a woman's voice saying like, oh yeah, that's the spot, and like going on and on about how that's the spot, and I hear another woman's voice, and I'm like, wait, she's probably using a Theragun on this lady. It was true. So she was getting some kind of treatment that like involved the Theragun, which if you don't know, it's like a massage gun, but oh my gosh, I was so uncomfortable sitting in the massage, my masseuse comes back in, and I'm like, is this how it's gonna be the whole time? Like, is there gonna be like some kind of like white noise to go on to block that out? And she was like, no, I'm sorry, and I was like, 
Is there is there another room open? Because like this is very distracting. Like how am I supposed to relax when there's another woman fully talking at loud volume? Like we're in the same, literally in the same room, and moaning. And so she was like, "Let me look." So then she comes back ten minutes later, and is like, "Yep, the, the, there's another room for you." But in those ten minutes, like the moaning continued, the talking continued. So I was like, "Oh, thank God!" Like I'm so glad that I spoke up and we're switching rooms. Otherwise, how would I enjoy my my massage? And then, um, so we get set up in the room, in the next room, I have to get all of my clothes back on, go out into the next room, get my clothes back off, and then get underneath the sheet and everything. And then the masseuse comes back in, and she's like, she just left also, so she just finished. And I was like, oh, I'm sorry, but I'm glad I still moved rooms, because if I got moved, because if someone new came in to on the other side of the divider, like for like their massage and was talking, that would also throw me off. So I was happy to just be in a private room, but anyway. That was the weirdest experience ever. Apparently Addie wasn't so good while I was gone. She just missed her mommy. She's just been really cranky lately. It has nothing to do with me being there or not. Um, but anyway, Zach's taking the dog because we're taking the dog with us, but we didn't take the dog out for a walk yet. <sighs> we're in a rush. We're leaving now at six o'clock. So my mom and sister are probably starving waiting for us because we're also picking up the food. I just need to show you guys what it looks like in my car when we are packed in, so Zach gets in the front seat. The seat has to go all the way back. We have to bring this backdrop to my mom. Here, this is normally here, the diaper bag. These are the backdrops. Stroller packed in the back, can't fit anything in there, which is why this is next to me. This is my leg room. Here's Addie's uh, thing, Daisy in the front. So it's very cramped in here, <laughs> but we make it work. Is that, oh, it's the basketball. Zach, can you move up so I can move the basketball? Oh yeah, and Zach keeps the basketball in here for extra like annoyance. So yep, this is my leg space. We need a bigger car. To grandma's, look at this plant. I haven't filmed in here since I moved, lived here. But look how cute, and they decorated for Halloween already. Look how cute. What? Cute in here too. Nice. I'll sit here. Thank you. You're welcome. And Addie is here. Cool. She is a dumpling. And I made this quilt for my mom like a year or two ago. And uh, oh yeah, there's another little skeleton. It makes me feel like we should just go ahead and do Halloween as well. But we do need more decorations. Uh, like we don't have enough. Okay. This is cool too. Oh, We left my mom's at a certain point. We were hanging out at my mom's. We had Mexican food for dinner. I had a salad with no dressing from the Mexican place and without all the cheese and dairy in it, in it and stuff. Anyway, that was good. And then for her last week window, we were at my mom's and we have done this other places in the past. And then we get her to sleep, put her in her car seat and then she stays asleep in the car seat and then we transfer her right to the car seat car seat into um, pack and play and she stays asleep the whole night we've done that before and it works but she was just so cranky tonight she started screaming bloody murder in my mom's apartment and i felt so bad and shout out to my mom and sister i'm sorry that she screamed like that whole like last 20 minutes that we were there, maybe longer. And honestly, I think she was just overtired and didn't sleep well last night, didn't sleep well during all of her naps today. Had a little bit of a weird end to the day, but she's been asleep in her pack and play for like two hours now at this point. She's still there sleeping and we're gonna go upstairs now, but I will come back to you guys tomorrow. I'm dropping Zach off at golf. Hopefully this baby sleeps the rest of the night because we need a good solid night of sleep. So we'll see what happens.